Hey there and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. First and foremost, if you are new, make sure you're hitting the subscribe button before you leave. And if you are a returning subscriber, make sure you're checking out my description for links to my Patreon and vlog channel. Maybe you didn't even know I have those. Guess what? I have those. <laughs> Today's video was very much inspired by the last one that I put up, which was my Forever 21 haul. And honestly, I don't know why I never thought of this before. I don't know why I never thought of giving you guys shopping tips. Mostly online shopping tips, actually completely online shopping tips. And this video is going to be geared entirely towards plus size shopping. I mean, I know for most of us plus size customers, it is a really, really scary risk to go online and buy plus size clothes because everything fits totally different. So I just narrowed down about 10 to 11 of my top tips. Hopefully you guys find them helpful. Anyways, without further ado, grab a snack, get comfortable, and let's get started. Tip number one, do your research. What I mean by this is if you're going to a completely brand new store, i.e. Forever 21, and you have no idea how the fit is, come to a place like YouTube, Google the company name and review or haul, and typically that's a really, really great way to figure out how sizing runs. Sizing is totally different across the board. There are places that fit junior plus, and there are places that fit regular plus. So that's a mandatory must if you are shopping online and definitely eliminates a lot of the questions. Check the size chart. To be honest, this is one that I always forget to do as well, and I really need to make sure that I'm not overlooking the size chart because it is super, super important to make sure you're looking at measurements. Every store, as I mentioned, has different sizing, different ideas of what maybe an 18 or a 20 is. So it's really, really important that you're checking that size chart. Sometimes if you are a US customer, Customer going to a UK website, a UK 20 is definitely not the same thing as a US 20. So it's really, really important that you're checking that out because it can save you so much heartbreak check the fabric. I feel like this is one that a lot of people overlook, but for me it's really really crucial in finding the correct fit. So checking the fabric really really helps me get the perfect fit for a few reasons. If the fabric is either cotton or jersey or spandex, I know that's gonna have stretch to it. I know that's gonna have extra room, so if maybe I want it to fit a little tighter in my legs, I can definitely either size down or stay within my size and know that it's still gonna fit me elsewhere, but if something's like a chiffon or any other non-stretch fabric, which I can't remember the name of right now, I really, really want to make sure that I'm getting my size or above that. Another great tip that I just thought about is oftentimes if, say, you're looking at a skirt, it will tell you if there's an elastic waistband or not. That is so, so, so important to look for. Always make sure you're Googling for coupon codes. I know this isn't necessarily about finding your right fit, but I know all all of us like to save money. I mean, I don't think I know anybody who doesn't like a deal. So what I'll typically do is I'll type in Eloqui coupon code and hopefully fingers crossed, there is some sort of coupon code that comes up. Another great alternative is if you're a first-time customer on a lot of websites, if you sign up to their newsletter, oftentimes it'll come with like a 10% coupon code or 15% coupon code. Just doing those five minutes of research can save you a little bit of money on your order and like I said, who doesn't like a deal? Use Ebates for money back. This is one I always forget to do. I really always forget to do it, but Ebates just gives you a little bit of money back with every purchase you make. I know for a fact that Forever 21 is on Ebates, so say for instance you want to place an order, go to Ebates, search Forever 21, click it, and it'll create a cookie in your browser, which then gives you a percentage of your money back, which is fantastic because, I'm, I mean, who, again, doesn't want to save money? You'll get that money back. This video is not sponsored by Ebates whatsoever. This is just a tip to you guys and one that I really need to remember about more often. Know the return policy. I personally hate returning things, but it is really, really important, especially with shopping online, that you know the return policy because even if you follow all these steps, you will never really know how you like it until you are wearing it. So knowing that return policy before you spend 
X amount of dollars on the website can help you so much and save you so much trouble. Know your measurements. Okay, so I know for a lot of you, knowing your measurements might be really, really scary, but when it comes to shopping online, it's really, really important that you do, especially if you're shopping with a place like, say, eShockedy, where everything can either be a standard size or customized to your fit. And knowing your measurements, again, goes back to that size chart issue. Everything's different. And knowing at least the widest part of your body will help you tremendously. I just think that knowing your measurements is probably one of the most helpful things when it comes to shopping online. Know what styles you like. So this is something that comes after being a seasoned shopper in general, but there are definitely specific cuts that people like on themselves more. For me, Anything fit and flare I know is gonna look great on me. It's gonna look great on a lot of people. There are also certain things on me that I know will not work. Anything low rise or even medium rise, hate it super uncomfortable on my body. So knowing what fits and cuts I prefer on me means that I can even search for the things I want a little bit more, especially on a place like, say, Amazon. If you don't really know what fits you like best on you, go to your closet, see what pieces that you really like on you, or you can look at other people online who have similar body types to you and look at what styles you think look best on them, and then do your own little research. Knowing your fit and knowing what looks best on you, or even knowing what fabric bothers you the most, I mean, that's something that comes with really, really knowing clothing. All right, that is all I have for you. I really tried to narrow it down to the ones that I thought were most important. There are definitely so many other aspects to plus size shopping, and I had one. I had one that I didn't write down, and I cannot freaking remember it, so I will definitely be revisiting this subject. And if you guys have little tips for me or specific questions that maybe you'd want me to touch base on, let me know in the comments below as usual. I really enjoyed making this video. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. And before I forget to mention, because I did forget to mention this in the beginning of the video, I have decided to not post three videos a week. It has been really, really hard to maintain that schedule. I just think I bit off way more than I can chew, and I want to be creating content that feels, I don't know, a little bit more natural and organic, so I'm going to go back to my usual schedule of Wednesday and Sunday. But with that being said, don't forget you can find new videos for me every Wednesday and every Sunday, and new blog posts every Tuesday and every Thursday, and I'll see you next time. Bye!